You probably have tasted how tofu delicious it is in a Japanese restaurant in the United States or in the Europe. Oh, it tastes so good! But you know what? The original inventor of tofu is an ancient Chinese prince who lived in Xi'an Dynasty about 2,000 years ago. After that, more and more Chinese have learned how to make it and how to cook it creatively. Until now, tofu has become one of the most common food for Chinese and other Asians, and it has been cooked in numerous ways. In Lisa T's video, she has displayed a traditional making progress and cooked a very classical and local tofu sushi, which is called mapa tofu. Simply put, spicy tofu. Yep, so many spicy seasons. The reason why Lisa T and the local people in her hometown of Sichuan province eat a lot of spicy food is that, by Chinese medicine principle, Eating food with spicy flavor can help people there to discharge over moistures out of human bodies due to wet climate. From this mapa tofu case, we can see three characters of Chinese food. The first one is that one sushi has a very long history. The second one is people from different places within China cook the same food material in different local ways. Last but not least, the cooking way is not only for tasting good, also it combines with the Chinese medicine principle for eating healthy. But why? Why can one common Chinese dish reflect so much Chinese food culture? Why are Chinese so rich in food culture? In this video, by using Lizzie T's cooking performances, let's talk about it from these three perspectives. Ready? Go! Long history. In Little T's video, not only mapo doof, but also hot pot, chicken soup, lanzhou ramen, all these common Chinese sushi can steam from 2000 years ago to 1000 years ago. Yep, when you eat these dishes, they will help you to transfer back to ancient time to experience the ancestors once did. Why 2000 years ago? Because on one hand, we can find many sushis are recorded in some ancient Chinese books which are written back then. On the other hand, as an agricultural country, ancient China back then had a successfully mastered agricultural calendar, planting skills, and water irrigation techniques, allowing the most local and imported plants and crops to grow and harvest. In this video, you may feel amazed to see so many plants and vegetables are recorded to grow and to be finally made through one or two years because she has to do so by following 24 solar terms in Chinese lunar calendar which is very important climate indicators for farmers. Also in this video, Lisa T displays how Asian people take calls to help them to farm more efficiently. Furthermore, a very important idea of food culture, as a significant political governance target for ancient Chinese emperors, had been born and spread since then. Min yi shi wei tian. People count for eating food as the priority. Okay, thanks to maturity of traditional agriculture, ancient Chinese people not only harvest basic food materials such as wheat, rice, crops, vegetables, they also made many other relatively commodities for enriching daily food culture. About 100 years ago, in Song Dynasty, original people created a popular saying for describing what people make a living for, seven things after opening doors and going out every morning. The seven things are firewood, rice, oil, salt, soy sauce, vinegar, and tea. These seven things are very important to Chinese food culture, not because they are expensive, instead, their existence matters to the high quality of sushi and lifestyle. For example, salt, soy sauce, and vinegar help people to add diverse flavors on food and to pickle other vegetables and meat to sip longer. Tea, as a common soft drinking, helps people to keep sober and feel refreshing and relaxing. 
In this tips video, she has made a series of videos to display all these seven things. The thought video was made relatively lately, but she persisted to complete it for a whole series before she managed to deal with business lawsuit with her MCN company. So you can see how much Lizzy T wanted to introduce this food culture to all of us. One more thing is, in every Lizzy T's video you will find in the end, she and her grandma sit down and eat together happily with some dishes, rice or noodles, and soup. Believe it or not, this kind of Chinese daily food pattern has shipped and passed down for thousands of years. Oh, also with chopsticks. Diverse local Chinese sushis. You may notice that Lizzy T often adds many spices into her dishes, especially these red spicy and these more round ones. What she makes are often Sichuan sushi, and these two seasons are the soul of it in her hometown, Sichuan province. In her videos, Ma Po Tofu and the Hot Pot are two key represents of Chuan Sushi, which are named after the operation of Sichuan province. Out of China, another famous Chuan dish you probably have eaten in Chinatown overseas is Kong Pao Chicken, which may be tasted sweeter than the original one in order to cater to foreign customers. Believe it or not, the capability of eating spicy flavor among Sichuan people are incredible. Not all other Chinese nor foreigners can easily compete with. Oh my god, I want to cry! In China, generally people use a province name to label different local sushis because China is so vast and so diverse due to different climates, topographies, food raw materials, flavor flavors, cooking styles, and so on. Although there are totally 34 provinces, including Taiwan, no worries, only 8 famous local sushis have officially recognized. They are Lu Sushi, Chuan Sushi, Su Sushi, Yue Sushi, Min Sushi, Zhe Sushi, Xiang Sushi, and Hui Sushi. But in my opinion, Many other provinces, especially minor peoples and ethical groups places such as Yunnan, Ningxia, or Xinjiang, their food are also quite amazing. Chinatown? If you often visit Chinatown overseas, you probably have eaten a lot of Yue Sushi, which comes from a very southern Guangdong provinces where people immigrate earliest in modern history. Yonton, steamed vermicelli roll, all kinds of porridge, seafood, and so on. Usually they taste very light and refreshing, no any spicy at all. If you do love Chinese food and want to taste the original all of them in short time, here is one great tip which is definitely worthy of your thumb up to my video. <clears throat> Listen, taking enough money and going to Beijing. Because in Beijing, all provinces are obliged to set their local food offices, so you will find all native and most delicious ones there. But listen carefully, in short time doesn't mean three days or one week, but at least one month. Chinese food culture philosophy the reason why I see Chinese food culture so rich is not only that the Chinese have diverse food raw materials and different sophisticated cooking methods, also Chinese adopt the Chinese medicine principle into our food culture for eating healthy. As you have known, spicy food helps Sichuan people and other people who live in wet climate to discharge over moisture out of human bodies so that people can keep away from relative diseases. In Chinese food culture, there are many other more cases with Chinese medicine principle. For example, in northern China, in summer, we usually drink green beans soup to help our body to cool down naturally or help people who get a heat stroke to recover. For another example, eating many grilled meat or hot pots will make our bodies hot. In Chinese, we see set a fire in our bodies. So you had better to drink wheat tea or other functional herbal tea to cool down for health balance. This case applies to Korean sushi quite often as well. 
On the other hand, if you eat cold food, which is not defined by their surface temperatures, but by Chinese medicine principle, such as bitter almond, you had better eat something hot at the same time, such as ginseng, to keep balance. In Lizzie's video, she goes to Changbai Mountains, far away from her hometown, to dig ginseng, such expensive and valuable Chinese medicine material. In another video about mushroom, one type called Lingzhi, which is finally fired by her with other mushrooms, is also a famous and valuable Chinese medicine material, which usually have people to come down and heal men. Such balanced food culture also exists in Middle East as far as I know. The part I don't know is whether all food materials, hot or cold attributes are the same with the Chinese one or not. Some people say the balanced food culture are consistent with original Chinese Taoism philosophy. Hmm, it sounds makes sense. The Chinese food culture is so splendid that this 10 minutes video hardly tell all. No worries, subscribe my channel. Your 5,000 likes for this video will motivate me to talk about more.